precious name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. And if you need a Bible, just slip your hand up and we'll get you one. Uh, otherwise, go ahead and turn to the book of Hebrews. And we are in chapter 3 today. Hebrews chapter 3. And we will be wrapping up uh, chapter 3 today. Next week is our church camp out. So we'll kind of do a one-off, you might call it, uh, sermon for the camp out. Then we'll pick back up on Hebrews chapter 4 when we do return. Uh, Hebrews chapter 3. And just kind of quickly to review... Verses 1 through 12 to catch you up and catch myself up as well. Uh, We've been emphasizing the fact, and the author has been emphasizing the fact, that as great as Moses was in the Old Testament, Jesus is is, is an amazing amount, uh, infinitely above Moses, all right? And so Moses was the key figure in the Old Testament, and he acted as a priest, he acted as an apostle, he acted as a judge, he acted as a king. Over and over and over, all these great titles were fitting of him, but he was actually a typology of the ultimate one to come that would truly fulfill all of that, which was God's final priest, God's final apostle, God's final judge, God's final king, and that is Jesus Christ, the one who is fully man, the one who is fully God, the Messiah. All right, And so the point so far as we've gone through chapter 3 is that the people had to listen to Moses. And if they did not listen to Moses as God's appointed one, then they would suffer the consequences for their disobedience and for their rebellion. And the point of this is escalating. The argument is going from lesser to greater that if they had to listen to Moses or else they would reap the consequences for not, for rebellion, for sin, for disbelieving God, then how much greater is the penalty for not listening?